Jared Feast talking with Richard Gunner all about meat. So Richard, what do you know about meat? Oh, there's a little bit. We've been doing this game for about the last eight years and so I've picked up a fair bit on the way through. What can you tell me? Well, I guess one of the things that I find really important in terms of meat is the quality and the provenance of where it comes from and how it's been grown. It makes a huge difference. An average shopper like me might think that something like a scotch fillet, a more expensive cut, is a better product. Is that true? Well, it's actually not the case. Um, a lot of people think that cuts is a very important way of telling the quality of something, but it could be a scotch fillet from an old dairy cow versus a prime young steer, and it makes an absolutely massive difference to the quality of the product that you're eating. So the cuts remain the same. We've still got a scotch fillet. However, in one instance, you'll probably get something that's really dry and tough, and the other instance, you get something that's beautiful, juicy, tender. So it's much more important how that animal's been raised rather than the actual cut. The cut doesn't tell you very much at all. Tell us, what are the advantages of shopping at a butcher rather than a supermarket? We pride ourselves on being able to not only give people a great cut of meat, that the staff here are really passionate about food. They love cooking and they're more than willing to help people out with cooking advice and even recipe tips and ideas on how to get that extra result. So not only have you got the better raw material to start off with, that you actually learn something from a cooking perspective so that you end up with a much better meal at the end of the day. So your catchphrase is restaurant quality, farm direct. What does that mean? Well, I guess one of the things that makes us a little bit unique as a butcher is that we're actually the farmer. Like our, my family started off as uh, just growing cattle down at Meningi and the Coorong. Um, we felt that we were growing something pretty special and we wanted to be able to sell that to the public. And so we've actually established the Feast Fine Foods um, butcher shops, which gives us a chance to take that product directly to the customer. and. We also supply that product to a number of leading restaurants and we use the restaurants as a way of ensuring that our quality is up to scratch because as we see on all the cooking shows these days, chefs are very demanding so we feel that if we can keep those chefs happy with the product we're producing then our customers in our retail shops will be absolutely delighted. So the next recipe the boys are doing a beef hot pot. What yep. cut would you recommend for me to take back to them? Well we've got our Kurung Ingus beef diced steak. It's been MSA graded so it's guaranteed to be tender. I think we'll just grab you a kilo of that diced steak yeah, cool. and I'll make sure the Michaels Bring have got something on. fantastic to Excellent. cook. All right, got uh, it? Uh, gee, yeah, oh, yeah, I've hey, got it. I've got you. Right. Professionalism at, at play. You know my mate Tetsuya. Yep. Otherwise known to his friends as Tets. Also uses Electrolux in the kitchen. What's his nickname? Tetsuya. Tets. Tets. What do you call him? I, well, I don't know. Oh, nice oh, right, man. I see. He's very see. close friend. We like this, he's you know. The, he's the Electrolux. You know, does he watch us, though? We watch him. Yeah, I exactly. if he watches I think, us. Tets, I think it's about time you learn from us because we're going to make for you a feast to feast. It's easy beef, hot pot. And Mickey, what are the ingredients? Mickey? We, we have feast cued beef. We? Oui. That's mm -hmm. Richard and his team. We have some lauki flour, a teaspoon of paprika, crushed tomatoes, that's a can, beautiful onion, garlic, celery, <laughs> carrots, and turnip. I love turnip. Turnips. You told oh, me that before. Love turnip. And? Some potato and a cup of beautiful red wine. How come I, I get to chop the last onion? Well, you you get away with murder on these shows. <gasps> <laughs> oh, oh, I do the remembering. I do the serious <laughs> gig. But listen, I am prepared. I got no. my fishmongering hat on. But Is that it, good? But, uh, oh, hang on, where's your knife? Yeah, it's oh, better. You, you need... See, that, that's a cook's knife. It's yes, it a 30 centimetre See, that, cook's that knife. That was my fish filleting knife? Yes. Right, okay. How's that? It's that interesting. Good? You do have to have the right knife you for do. the right could, job in the kitchen. I couldn't believe... Couldn't... The sharper, the better, too. Yes, okay, now, Mickey, mm. this you know, meat, mm -hmm. we're going to put the meat in dark. Yes. Can I give you the bowl? Yes, mate. Yep. Can you put in two, two tablespoons of flour? Well, you can do it. Okay, one... Two. Two, and I'm counting Greek. Enna. Now, is that you say hot enna? paprika? No, that's going in there. Yeah. Now, paprika. Right. Enna, veal. You say veal? Do it. How about in Italian? And toss it. Actually, yeah. what you can do, you can do this in a bag, yeah. in a plastic bag. Okay? This that's is it. such Simple as that. a beautiful recipe. Beautiful. And also because you're using fantastic raw material. And great oh, that's product. That feast cube and look, beef. And this beautiful. says hot pot so we don't get confused what recipe we're doing today because <laughs> that often happens. So Just stick it in, in there. Oh, you don't fry it off or anything? That's it. No. Now you've got to put in the onion. You heard it first. I did. The onion? Yep. 
We're going to put in the mm. onions. We need, what was it, two onions? Two onions there. Okay, can you also mm. put in the other onion? This. <laughs> yeah. This is very simple. Right. Okay, and you we're going to put in carrots. So you just tip it all in. Tip it all in. This is the easiest job okay. I've had in weeks. Potatoes. Potatoes. I think you put it into potatoes. All right. Yep. I think. Is it all going to fit? Pot, it's a good pot. Mm -hmm. I think a few, a, a little bit of turnip, not too much. Oh, oh you're gone. You got to put right. the whole. Right. And you got to put in the um, We've garlic. We've got some garlic. Some garlic. Michael, this is so and easy. Some pepper. Pepper. A little bit. Pepper. A lot of pinch. Yes. And you know what we need to put in now, Michael? What's that? We need the tomato, a tomato. can of tomato, yep. peeled and diced and tomato, and something that didn't evaporate this time well, under, these, the under these lights. <laughs> we managed to keep one glass of red wine. Look at that. There we are. Fantastic. And this is going to, in bit the of oven. Salt. Yes, in an oven. A little bit of salt. There we are. And I just need to combine this. How's that? There we are. Put it all through. I'm going now, to fold it now, in. Now, seriously, I know we haven't got chilli. You've used paprika. Is that the mild Hungarian paprika? Yes, or it was mild, but it's not also... Hot. You could you put it hot if you wanted you to. Can, and you mm. can use smoky. Remember that smoke? Oh, the smoky the smoky one. I'll just yeah, that's fold that through. Doing a good job there. 180 degrees. Yep, now I'll just check the old Electrolux yep, oven here. Yeah, yeah, it's all ready. Is it's it all good? set. Is it at that temperature? Yes, the temperature's there. Are you paying attention? Mm-hmm. Okay, you know what you could do? You know what I would do? Would you? A bay leaf? Well, has anyone got a Bailey? <laughs> no Bailey. Where's Peter? Where's Peter when you need him? Okay. No, we haven't got a Bailey. But you could put a bay leaf in. Just make sure everything combines well. Beautiful. And you know what we do? Put the, put the lid on. That's it. How long? Two hours. Two hours. Hey, Mickey. Nope, ready? Hey, I tell you what, it tells you when it's ready. This is not bad. Oh, Michael, well, there it is. Look at that. Yeah. Two hours. I think I, I seeing. I think I'll allow you to look. Shall it's I? still beeping. Well, it's okay. We're finished now. <laughs> Here we go. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, oh <laughs> have a look at that. Hey. <laughs> Pardon me, Roy. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> We've never done a beef stew before. <laughs> That, I was that is beautiful. Very clever oh, oven, that one. Very that, clever. Very oven. clever and little electrolux there, Michael. L look at that. Oh. Isn't that incredible? There's one thing you, you can't do home that we can do is actually smell it. How you just put all these oh. things together, or fresh ingredients, in a pot, two hours in an oven. You know what we've got to do? That's it. I'll be back in a minute. Two forks, hang on. Michael, it is. It's an easy beef hot pot. And, uh, look at that. Mickey. I think we'll go to the top of the class. Oh, look this. at that. Absolutely. And it hasn't fallen apart. Some, that is cooked. Some of this beautiful feast beef, the cube beef. Oh. Mmm. 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 Mm. It's called Feast for Feast. Oh, I oh, know. The thing, the gruelling things we've got to go through, Michael.